Julia and I have arrived in Bangkok, Bangkok Airport, Suvarnabhumi, which is the big one. It's a big international one. And it's newly built, or it's the newest. We just killed some burgers at Burger King because we were pretty, pretty hungry. The food on the plane weren't all that great. This time was something with fish balls, so we didn't want to eat that. A bit picky, are we? We dropped our big bags at uh, like a deposit place where we can uh, lock, where they lock our bags for tomorrow. Uh, the time is around 5, 5 p.m. now. And we're gonna buy some tickets with the city line. We'll go to the center and we'll go out and get some dinner and chill out, rest, watch some series. And then tomorrow we have to be here at 3 p.m. to pick up our big bags. And then we have a couple of hours until we leave tomorrow night at 20 minutes to 7. We fly to Sydney with Qantas. Right now, Yuda is in line, ready to buy some tickets. Look at this creepy hallway. <laughs> Looks like something out of Resident Evil. With the blinking light too. It's pretty neat. So, I just want to show you a room tour of our hotel here in Bangkok. Last night we went out and got some food. I wasn't feeling too good, so I didn't really bring the camera. I have a bit of problem with my throat, so... Well, that happens. So, we have a beautiful little cupboard here with the security box. This is a deluxe room and we are at the Best Western Mayfair Suites in, uh, in, in Bangkok. So, there's me. Julia just washed some uh, grapes and it's messy everywhere. Uh, there's a nice bathtub here. There's a normal toilet. There's a tea kettle. I boiled some tea for myself because my throat was a bit of a bastard. We have a nice little thing where we can place our bags. And then I want to show you the best thing about it. It's this huge king-size bed. I don't know if you can really get the sheer size of it, but if I sit like this, right now I'm just sitting there, and there's like almost two meters to that side. This bed is fucking huge. Yule, try and lay down, just to show the size of how much space we got each. Look at that. There can be like easily three people sleeping in this bed. Normally at home, I think we'll have about half the size of this bed for the two of us. So this has been absolutely beautiful. But the rest of the room, rest of the room we have a nice comfortable chair. We have some beautiful lamps, which gives a good light, light at night. We have aircon that's fucking cold, which didn't help me very much. So we turned on the air conditioner on and off. Yeah, we bought some food at the night market close to the hotel yesterday. So we just had some fruit this morning. We didn't get to see much of Bangkok this time. But uh, when we get back to Bangkok on the end of our journey, We'll definitely see some more. Uh, we'll go to the airport now and pick up our big bags and we'll just chill and wait for our plane to leave tonight. Right now the time is 2 minutes to 12 so we gotta go down and check out and then we'll hit on out to the airport. See you guys there. Julia and I have arrived in Suvarnabhumi airport here in Bangkok and the most impressive thing about this is the top floor where the departures are and like the sheer meaning of huge or huge constructions is this hall. Look, just look at the span on these going across, holding the roof up. It's absolutely insane. It's a nice airport. It's very clean. It's beautiful. Uh, the time is now a quarter to two, so we have like five hours to kill before we take our flight to Sydney. Now we're just gonna go and get some battery fund on our. GoPro camera that we bought in Phuket, uh, the new one, so we can get some money back. And the prices for going into the city or to Paya Thai, which is like the, the metro stop or the train that goes uh, the first, furthest into the city, is 45 baht each way per person. And you get these small tickets that you put in a machine. Like plastic coins? Yeah, plastic coins. You get them, you put them in the machine, you can, you can pass through. And they can get on the train and they leave like every 15 minutes or something so it's pretty good but uh, yeah we're gonna get some money back we're gonna get some food find a place to chill and relax for the next many hours i reckon ben chan's airport could be yeah about five times yeah just in this place probably could probably could yeah yeah ben chan was very very small the departures and arrivals were in the same building and it was just like 100 maybe 200 meters long and that was it two this gates, one two this one is just like a kilometer from one end to the other and then you have the gates which are just 
so long. It's crazy. So we have landed in Nadi Fiji and we're greeted by these awesome guys playing the guitar. It's the most, it's the best welcome we've had in the airport ever, I think. It's beautiful. Pula!